Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the big boys. As we move to the heavyweight division, Tari Gossaro versus Abderrahman Barkouche. Well, the man fighting out of the black corner representing Morocco, 26 years old, stands in at 175 centimeters tall, 5 feet 9 inches. He has a professional record of two fights, two victories, making his glory debut. Buddy Abderrahman Barghouz. When his opponent fighting out of the white corner representing Nigeria, 27 years old, stands in at 198 centimeters tall, 6 feet 5 inches, a professional record, 23 fights, 20 victories, 2 defeats and 1 draw, 9 of his winning fights by way of knockouts. Winning glory, 2 fights, 1 victory, 1 defeat, ladies and gentlemen, Cookie Tariq Asado! One, this glory fight in the heavyweight division is scheduled three rounds of three minutes and the referee is Mr. Daniel Sharifi. Fight hard, fight clear. Listen to my comments all the time. No questions. As you can ask if you want, step back. Well, there is a massive height differential right there, Joseph, as you look at the two fighters. Tariq Osaro with the white gloves and green trunks, and the big man, Adaraman Barkush. He has the black shorts and black trunks. Not the time to go get a beverage, people. Don't play. This one could end in the news. Yeah, and Osara is going to be with the power of hands. But Barkush, you see already, the way he moves his head and he counters, it's very dangerous. You mentioned Barkush is going to want to get inside to land those big, powerful shots. Osara wants to use that speed to get 32 pounds lighter out of Williams. Definitely wants to stay off those uh, ropes, too. Yeah. That's where Barkush can allow him to put him into those corners. This way he can't move, attack the body, go to the head. See how Cookie can keep him off. It's going to be the big boxing combination. Make those tight. These are two big men bouncing off those ropes. I do like Osaro kicking on the outside, being the taller fighter. Makes it front kicks too. Real tall fighter. Use that semi shield front kick. Keep him away. Well, it's a very dangerous range to be in Let 
the first round. Oh, Way late. Both fighters still swinging. They wanted to just keep rolling, Joseph. And Tariq stayed very patient that round. He just waited for that last 10 seconds to close. So anticipating a more active round for him. See, Osaro from his corner. He has Big Mike in the corner. And Big Mike's been talking very positive about him, saying that he's got that future. He can think he trains with guys like Jamal Ben Sadiq, so he's, he's, he's ready for this one. But uh, Barkouche, nicknamed Barry, still new to his career, but we're seeing some promise here. The way he's kind of getting in there, throwing his overhands, but he still needs to be a little bit more active in the second round if he wants to. 21 less fights than Osaro. One seconds out training, for the second and round. Elite training center, and as you mentioned, Joseph, Osaro with Mike's gym. And look at some of that action towards the end of the round. A lot of overhand punches. Being the shorter fighter, it's those big looping overhand shots that do the most damage. But I still feel hitting the body first brings the head down, which allows you to hit the head a little bit more efficiently. So level changing would be a good one for Mark. The big men go into round number two, heavyweight action. The boy rivals division. And maybe Farfouche, by surviving that first round, taking this younger dog, gained some confidence. Yep, this is where I can still feel, though. Oh. Osaro's gonna come heavy with the boxing now. He knows the power, and now's the time for him to let it go. And he threw a couple knees to kick this off. Look at these strikes landed. 18 kicks from Osar. Fighting his mark, and maybe that one was a little low. Osar is known for his boxing, too. He's got very good hands, good combinations, but it's nice to kind of see him use his kicking game a little bit in this fight to set up the boxing. He will be set in the center of the glory ring. The low blow delivered by Osar. Osaro's a little bit hands low, a little bit complacent. Maybe a nice time to overhand it for Barcouche. Are you surprised that we are not seeing more volume from Osaro, especially with the kicks and knees? Well, I think he's doing just what he needs to do, enough to win right now. I still think he feels Barkouche is a little dangerous at that in range, so by pecking away on the outside, I mean, I don't feel it's a bad strategy. It's not the most exciting, but this is what I'm saying. He needs to be careful. Yeah. He's getting too lazy with his defense while he's kicking. And if Barkouche can keep him pinned in that corner, that's exactly what he wants him. Those standard front kicks from the side are making it very difficult for Barkouche.
Sports Hall of Zoom in Amsterdam. Brian Kruk and Joseph Altolini with you for Glory Rivals number three. Also, had a big second round here, Joseph, as we check out the highlights. Yeah, here's Marcus trying to really step in, throw in the punches. For the but third and really final round, round of this fight. about Osaro keeping him at range, using his front kick, kicks on the outside, and really punches when he needs to. He's playing the smart fight, not getting into messy exchanges. He's doing enough to win, but me, Barcouche, if he wants to win, he's got to put a little bit more out. Be first, counter after. He's waiting a little too long to win this fight. Let's see if he can land one of those big shots and let's turn this fight. Sorrow in control at this point. Picking his shots on the outside. He doesn't need to get in there and start whipping punches. But he's going to start playing Barkusha's game. Once again, Osaro having success with those kicks. And a third and one. Gets out of that corner quickly. Moving your head against the shorter guy. It's tough. He did it. Got out of that corner. You just get the feeling in this fight that at any moment either of these guys could land and end his opponent's even quickly. Especially when our coach throws, I'm just waiting for sight. Waiting. I think I'm waiting too long still. This thing needs to throw a little bit more. Maybe the is a little too relaxed here. Had him up two rounds to nothing. He hasn't done anything here in the first. from Barbouch gets the work. Oh, he stunned him. him, and down goes Marcus. The big shot from Osaro drops Marcus. He's up, but for how long? That's it. It's over. Marcus unable to continue. Referee stops his fight, and Tyreek Osaro scores another big win here at Glory Rivals. He was just picking away with his kicks, and then when the opportunity came, he found that nice one-two straight. You see him get rocked back. The punches in combination, snap, snap. You see the head go back, and then just one to finish it in with that right hand as he stepped in. Good power. I mean, it felt like we saw Osara waiting a little bit, but when he found that opportunity, that's what he needs to do. He's got to show that heavyweight power. You got to think Mike's happy now. Seeing his hands getting the finishes. For me, Osaro needed a finish for a good performance. I agree that was his 10th career knockout. Improved to two and one here at Glory Rivals. And we'll get, we'll make it official when we come back. Your winner by knockout after two minutes and ten seconds in the third round is the man in the white corner, Tariq Osaro! Cookie, you know, when I was watching that fight, there was shades of Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz and that. I had a flashback there. There's nothing sweet about you, is there? When you, when you get them shots going, you put him really over. That was a great performance at the end. Yeah, yeah, first of all, I want to thank his fans. Thank you for this hype. I think you put on a nice fight. I want to thank my fans, my support, my family. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we came here. Mike told me, keep the focus three rounds, then the knockout will come. And it came in the third round. So I'm very happy with this performance. 
Well, thank you for your kind. That's a, a very nice thing to say, as supporters and everything like that, which I agree with. The blue ins always existed, so that doesn't matter. What do you want next? What's next on your roster? Proby! Is he here? He's over there. Proby! I want a ranked fighter next. I'm coming to 2023. Line them up. Thank you very much, Cookie. Congratulations to us.